so today I'm going to show you an idea that DC Fritch came up with from Fountain Pen Network on how to take a Coeco Sport that many of us have and convert it from what we all know as cartridge filler to a sack. Holds a lot more ink, very easy to do. So I thought I'd just take a minute to show everybody just how quickly you could do this. Um, a few things that you're going to need. I'm going to try and stay organized and in focus here for you. Um, you're going to need shellac. I got it from Pandemonium. It was easy to get from them. It was $5 for a bottle. It'll last the rest of my life. Um, number 18 pen sacks. Uh, I got three of them. They were $2 each. So I think the whole order was with shipping maybe 13 or $14. And I'll have three of these. And again, enough shellac that if I want to make a million, I probably could too. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, you saw I took this off. The back, you can leave those parts on the side. <clears throat> I already took the time to clean uh, one of the cartridges out, but you just want to clean it, make sure that it's, you know, as good as you're going to get it. It's really not that important. It's not important that it's super dry inside because you are going to cut it. Um, the first cut you're going to make, or the only cut you're going to make, try that again, is you're going to see, I guess there's the nipple, then there's that little recess right here, and right from this point, you're going to go up half a centimeter and cut completely off the back. Which comes to the next thing you'll need. A razor blade. I should have said that. And a ruler. Really simple. You're going to measure again from that ridge over oops, sorry. From this ridge over a half a centimeter and you're going to cut straight down. Or as straight as, it, as you can within reason. Once I measure it out, I'm going to come straight down. And again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. You want to use a fresh razor blade, and, and it'll cut like butter. I mean, it comes right off. Right, for those who want to know, there's that st stupid marble that everybody talks about rattling around. Okay. Next. Sorry. One sack. Now, I've already measured it, obviously, because I've done this before. Um, mine comes out to uh, four and a half centimeters, and that seemed to work pretty good with where it sits and in fitting inside the nib. This pops in as usual, slides on, and it shuts. And you can see I have just a little bit of air space in the back. Now, you could go a little bit more. I think about four and three quarters centimeters would be. Uh, the most you could get out of this. Um, so maybe we'll try that and see how it goes. Um, again, this is the part, this is the side you're going to need, and this is the side you can throw away. Uh, getting out of focus. All right. Four and a half centimeters. Again, it's just a rough, doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I would want the edge, I would say, this part to be a fairly clean cut, so like this is off just a little bit. I would, I will recut that now, just so that it's completely, because that's what's going to go up against that nipple. Just cut the scrap off. And again, I'm going to measure four and a half. Let's pour four and a half. Four and three quarters, I'll go just a little bit more and I'll see how it works out. Of course, I'm cutting at the wrong end. <laughs> so remember this part. It's a measure from here. That would have been great. Um, so here, cut straight down. I mean, you can always trim it down before you put the shellac on it, obviously. You still have that opportunity. Um, but it does... You, know, you need to fiddle with it a little bit, and doing it with the camera right in my face is, of course, making it more difficult. But you're going to want to slide it over. And when the shellac's on it, um, sorry, when the shellac is on it, it will go over much smoother. And, and you bring it right again, using this edge as a guideline, straight down. 
right up to that point. And I'm just doing this now so that I can measure it out. The other thing is when you do it, if you have it a little too much on one side, you'll see that uh, this will this will actually be at an angle one way or the other. So you can kind of just eyeball it. But that's kind of how it's going to sit. All right. It'll just kind of pop in. Actually, there. See, so you can you can tell it's off at an angle. So you just push down on there, straighten it out. Back of the pen. And I made this one just a little bit longer, and you can see that there is still some some space at the back. So it's got breathing room. All right. So off at the back. We're done with the ruler. Out with that. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the sack off. Shellac. Again, this is really simple. When you do it on your own, you, you'll see it doesn't take any time at all. All right, we're just going to paint it on. And it has, you know, an hour or so of drying time. So you're not going to, you don't need to rush this part. Just make sure you have a nice, even layer. Because if you don't have an even layer, trust me, you're going to find out rather quickly um, once you put ink up into it. But that half a centimeter on here is, is a, it seems to be, no expert, but it seems to be, for me, it, it sealed it plenty. I haven't had any leaks. I've had my other one for, I believe, about a month now. And uh, I haven't had any leaks or issues or anything like that. And I keep it with me at work, so it gets used and abused plenty. And over. And that's really it. I mean, now it's just, you know, before it dries, pop it in. Make sure that it's not, see, like it's in an angle. Just straighten it out a little bit. Pull up on one side, down a little on another, and that's it. You're done. You leave it to the side and let it dry. This is the only part. Now that you've tested it, though, do take care. If you just pull it straight off without any pressure on it, you'll pull the sack right off of the uh, nipple. I just rolled up my fingers a couple times to make sure that it's made contact all around, and I leave it to the side. Um, the other one is empty. So I'll show you it and we'll fill it really quick. I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm going to move the camera up. As you can see. And drop the light. Which is alright. So. Let's get some ink open. You can drop the light. We don't want to drop the ink. And at this point, it's going to fill just like any other. You can just squeeze that sack in the ink and you're going to let it go and you'll see it takes a second for it to draw up the ink which is you know it's good it's creating that that vacuum um, getting all the air out I mean this holds a, a cartridge I measured before holds about 0.6 mils so how much this exactly is going to hold you know what I've never I've never measured it so I'm really not sure let's give this a quick wipe close the ink all right and just for the sake of showing you know what I have an empty one of these and we'll just see if it actually is worth your while now, the other one I made is a little bit bigger but this holds Talk me to hold it up, but it's going just over a mill of ink, so you're getting almost twice as much ink uh, in one of these, you know, by doing that conversion. And that's it. This went on way longer than I thought, but again, that's how you do it. And let it let it sit for a few hours. When it's done, it's done. You pop it on, squeeze, and you're good to go. And again, it's it's really secure. Writes for a long time, and it's a good project. Happy Fountain Pen Day.